I was reasonable, somebody took my appendix out. Now, Willie, it's gonna be a wonderful party, but not without you. All right, I'm a party pooping tavern keeper, but I can't leave the store at 9.30 on Saturday night. Nero let Rome burn, didn't he? He came from a rich family, I don't. You could. Is that a proposal? What do you want, a ring? Emily, I adore you, and I'm crazy about your parties. How late do you think this one will go? Well, if I absolutely put my foot down, no later than Monday. Save me a cha-cha. I'll be there. Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Nice girl. Don't be a diplomat, Max. You ought to be spanked. You know, as a matter of fact, I tried to once, and uh, I got her across my knee, and, uh, yes. You know, when you get right down to it, she really is gorgeous. <clears throat> Friendly? Very. One of your friends in the party that just left paid me $100 not to tell you that he had stolen one of our champagne buckets. This is a 50. Our champagne bucket only cost us 50 apiece. The rest is my reward for being honest. Or wasn't it you that taught me that honesty always pays? It uh, usually doesn't pay this well, but I don't want to discourage a beginner. Thank you. Decorators through in my office? Hours ago. Carry on. man's dying, but I suppose that's no news to you. Good news. All right, get hold of him. You two have a nice little talk? Very little. But I know that you two aren't the kind to get mad unless it's for profit. Hey, Smitty! Yeah? This guy's dead! What did he tell you? 
I only found him just a minute before you got here. What he had to tell you wouldn't take a minute. Look, Lester was no pal of mine. He owed me a little money and... Oh, and he came to pay off, eh? With a little information? No. I'd say that he just fell into the first doorway he could find. What are we gonna do now, Smitty? If Lester told him about... Hello, this is Smitty. Yeah, the guy died. No, no, it's not good enough. He talked to somebody before he kicked off. Willie Dante. Yeah, I got him right here. Yeah. Well, all right, all right, you're the boss. All right, get the stiff. What about him? He's going with us. Where? Your pal is going for a swim in the bay. Would you rather join him? Who's she? I'm Lulu. Have a grape. Don't fool with him. The boss said to bring him here, but not to say anything about anything. Happened to that mousy little blackmailer. He's in the bay. But he talked to this wise guy here first. Oh, that's a shame. I don't know. How else would we have met? Not such a wise guy, really. He just picked my office to die in. What was he uh, blackmailing you about? I thought you said he knew. He's just talking. He saw what we did to Lester. You expect him to admit he knows what's going on? I'll take it. Hello? Oh, yes, darling, we're back. Well, he insists he doesn't know a thing about you. I know I don't like him. Smitty and uh, what's his name are prowling around here waiting about what you want done with him. Not what, what we know. Just tell us when. Oh, oh darling, that's cute. I love it. I love it. You will too. Then how come my flesh is crawling? <laughs> All right, I'll tell him. Mm. <laughs> is that your goodbye look? Relax, sweetie. You are going to Europe. I'm what? You love it. You just love it. Have you ever been this? Yeah, once for the army and once for laughs. The boss must be kidding. Mm -hmm. Seems Mr. Dandy here is very popular in San Francisco. No one would miss or care about a little weasel like Lester. But if he came floating up in the bay, there'd be an awful fuss. You know, you're really a Lulu, Lulu. Oh, I just live here. Not wisely, but... Well... For now, the boss says tie him up. Well, that's better. Chopper, tie him up? What'll I tie him with? With a drape cord. Don't be bashful. The rent's paid. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Good upside down. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Shall we uh, join the others? 
Now, well, let me see. Where were we? Oh, yes. Uh, we were going to Europe, only I uh, didn't quite get the name of the host. <laughs> Willie, you're a marvel. My friend could be your friend. He's a very rich friend. I'm not really a marvel. I'm just a man who thinks for himself. Now, uh, what was your friend's name? You really don't know, do you? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Now, look, honey, I've been thumped and bumped and threatened, and I feel pretty mean, so don't die laughing. And you're right back where you started from, aren't you? You still don't know anything, huh? Touché. Tidy, aren't you? Why don't you take the rest of the night off? You're wrong about one thing, Lulu. I know there's been a murder. I know they did it. And you gave your blessing. Oh, what a nasty thing to say. So why don't you call the cops and try and prove it? They'd talk. Facing the gas chamber? I wouldn't talk either. Why don't you get a rubber hose and give me the third degree? I would, but I'm afraid you'd enjoy it. <laughs> Go home, Willie Daddy. I'll tell my friend you don't know anything about him. He'll believe me. If you make noise, the best you can get is some dirty publicity for that saloon of yours. Your aim is good and low, Lulu. But I have a feeling that your friend is worth a bad write-up or two. If a man answers, you'll hang up. Be my guest. Hello? Don't say anything. Plenty's the matter. Danny tricked those two goons, and now he's holding me here. Uh-huh. Don't worry, he doesn't know who you are or why you're here. Hello. Hello, this is Danny. Yeah, she's right. I don't know about you, but she does. And one way or another, she's gonna tell me. So don't call me, I'll call you. Why don't you give up? He doesn't scare. Maybe he doesn't. Right now, I'll bet his vicious little mind has got all kinds of doubts about you. Hello. Uh, this is Willie Daddy. Is Luigi's cab anywhere near 18 McCondry Lane? Oh, good. Uh, have him come over right away and pick me up, will you? Thank you. Come fly with me. Nighty night. That's our man, Luigi. Can you find out where he picked him up and where he's going next? Yeah, that's uh, Mo Ackerman's cab. I'll go over and ask him. No, no. Well, wait a minute. Passenger may come out and start wondering. How about the radio? This? This just goes to the dispatcher. Well, he'd know where he picked him up and where he's going, wouldn't he? Yeah. I'll find out. Hey, Charlie. This is Luigi in 47. Do you read me? I read you clear. Over. That's a regular pilot, this fella. Hey, look, Mo Ackerman's cab is across the street. Where did he pick up his fare, huh? Luigi, you're not Nobody cost me to get on your bandwagon. Come well, on, name me your friend and where he is. Wouldn't leave me much to trade with. Well, I figure on following the man in the skinny suit and finding out anyway. He's my friend's dirty right arm, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That's next to nothing. You'll have to put more on the pot than that. All right. Take me to the airport, put me on the plane, and I'll tell you the rest before takeoff. You might tell me a big fat lie. You can call the police from the airport. Get on the plane with me. By the time we get to wherever we're going, the headlines will tell you I haven't been lying. Headlines, um, that big? Mm-hmm. And, uh, while we're traveling, or waiting, I wouldn't be bad company. Mr. Danny. Mr. Danny. Huh? The dispatcher said that Ackerman picked up his fare in front of a drugstore up in North Beach. He and Ackerman don't know where the guy is going from here. Wait a minute. I 
Ackerman must know where he's going now. Yeah, I'll find out. Hey, Charlie, this is Luigi again. Luigi, I told you the company don't like its radio used for personal business. I'll company you in the eye the next time I see you. What's the matter, my wife didn't give you such a good dinner last night? All right, all right, don't get so excited. Ackerman just called in. He's going to Dante's Inferno. How about that? <laughs> You're a good boy, Charlie. Thanks a lot. We go to your place? Yeah, but uh, first stop at the nearest phone booth. Right. Well, have you considered my offer? Yeah. But I uh, keep remembering your boyfriend went for the same offer, and uh, look at the deal he made. <laughs> What's the matter, mister? Something wrong with the martini? Huh? Oh, no, no, it's fine. What time do you expect Mr. Danny? I always expect him. That's what keeps me honest. Mm -hmm. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. That was the most clumsy of me. Oh, please, please allow me. A bit, I give the gentleman another drink and no check, please. It's all, all right. right, it's all right. And I insist that you send us your cleaning bill. No, don't bother. It's not important. Well, thank you, sir. You're more than generous. It's not necessary. I had enough. That light just go on? Oh, yeah, that light goes on any time somebody puts slugs in the cigarette machine. Uh, Mayor D. This gentleman would like to speak to Mr. Dante. I thought you said he wasn't here. He wasn't, but I just heard him come in. You heard? Uh, very good, sir, if you'll just come with me. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know what's wrong with me tonight. Neither do I. Please, I have important business with Mr. Dandy, and I won't wait. Very good, sir. If you'll just follow me. Everything all right, fellas? Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. Come in. Howdy. Mr. Dandy, this gentleman has been asking to see you. My name is Mason. I'd like to speak to you. Alone. Stu. I'm sure you won't mind my young lady friend here. Uh, she goes with me everywhere these days. I don't think either of us wants to waste any time. You know why I'm here. I think so, but tell me again. Watch yourself, Mason. He hasn't gotten a thing from me. Nothing except that uh, her boyfriend uh, has to and wants to go to Europe and that you're his troubleshooter. He saw the suitcases. Don't let him bluff you. Very well. My friend is interested in this young lady's welfare. He's willing to pay for her safe return. Well, uh... I've grown kind of fond of her myself. How much? $25,000. $25,000 for such a well-turned filly? Why, Colonel Mason, sir, that's highway robbery. Stand up, honey. Show him your teeth. This is not a joke, Dandy. You're so right. A man's been killed, I've been bounced around and threatened with a kidnapping. And I want to know who, and I want to know why. And this young lady has the mouth to tell me. And if I don't? <laughs> oh, but you will, sweetie. The only reason I put up with you this long is because I expected your boyfriend to show up. As soon as this stooge leaves, we're going to do a little Indian wrestling, only instead of uncle, you're going to tell me the name of Big Daddy. <laughs> My arm! Let her go. I didn't want this to become necessary. No, Mason! No, no, shoot! No good, stooge. Not unless you want to kill what you came for. My orders were to find out whether or not she'd revealed anything to you. And if not, to make sure that she wouldn't. Do I make myself clear? No, no, Mason, he didn't mean for you to do oh, that. Oh, yes, he did, honey. If he can't buy you out of here, he wants you dead. It seems that we uh, both overestimated your charms. Exactly, Mr. Dante. Your pretty shield is very temporary. No, no, Mason, don't shoot them. Why don't you say bang, bang? <laughs> Stick around. I'm warning you, Daddy. There are two guns downstairs. If I'm not out of here in five minutes, I'm gonna... You were saying? It's all right, fellas. He was expecting his two bulldogs. Oh, them. They flopped over before they half finished the Mickeys I gave him. I found these lying around in his gun. Trade you. These are real bullets, little baby. One or more of them was meant to rip the life out of your tender body. Do you want to keep on playing target? Or are you going to help me put your boyfriend out of business? He 
He's Frenchy Devereaux. Devereaux? That was the guy that was deported from New Orleans last year. I remember Frenchy. He ran every racket in the South until the feds grabbed him on an income tax wrap and shipped him back to France, where he came from. What was he doing here? Had a million dollars in cash and bonds and a safety deposit box here in San Francisco. Uh -huh. So he sneaked back here to pick it up. Lester found out he was here, demanded a payoff. Goodbye, Lester. If the cops grab Frenchy, he'll do 50 years. Not if, when. Where is he? Yeah. In a motor launch just off Pier 33 on the waterfront. Biff, take this outraged citizen down to join his unconscious friends. Keep him in the storeroom until I call the police. How about little Bo Creep? Daddy, I was just a girl on the Riviera when I met Frenchie. I didn't know what he was like until it was too late. He made me help him. It's okay, Stu. Thanks. You're welcome. What you doing? Calling the police. But, Danny, you said that you... No, you said... Listen to me. We have something for each other, something that doesn't happen very often. I'm not the best kind, but then neither are you. We're the same. We're the same. You're beautiful, Lulu. Wild and beautiful. And I'm good for a man. I'm good for a man like you, don't you? Relax, sweetie. You're going to jail. No, Daddy. No, I'm going to jail. No. There's a swinging party. Where are all the people? Next door. Oh. We've got apartments for parties, and this one's for friends. If there's one thing I like, it's a girl that's neat. Mm -hmm. Didn't know you could cook, too. Mm, still don't. Take a bite. Mm. After what you told me about that Lulu, I thought I'd attack through your stomach. The battle's yours. What's for dessert? You don't see what you like. Ask for it. 